Good morning, friends. Messy hair, Jay Morrell, in my pink bathrobe again. Well, today is a very rare and exciting day. I am actually leaving. I'm leaving before, probably before all the kids get up, and I won't be home until after bedtime. Those days don't happen often. One of my very best friends in the whole wide world, Joe, and I are going to the Home Educators Association of Virginia conference in in Richmond, Virginia. Now, we're only going for one day. It's a three-day event. <clears throat> I was actually supposed to speak there last year, and then my neck blew up. So today, we're just going as homeschool moms, and we're going to hear some other speakers. We're going to see. I love the vendor hall with all the homeschool goodies, and hopefully I can slip into the used book sale. Now, when I go to that, I usually end up with like a whole stroller full of awesome chapter books that I get at a great deal. I'm not taking anything to help me transport those today, so that will actually limit me. We don't, <laughs> I shouldn't be buying t tons of books, but you know, once you love books, it can be a problem. So anyway, I'm attempting to get myself dressed uh, to look decent in front of other women and... Um, that can be difficult, but I found my outfit rather quickly, and I'm going to try to pull myself together now for my mom's day out. Gracious, that was difficult. I think I went through three or four outfits, even though I thought I had one. I don't usually experience this on a daily basis. I always feel like I dress well for my family, but it's totally different when you're going to be in a sea of people. So anyway, this is what I went with. I was going to... Um, I was going to try to wear some of my skirts or one of my dresses and just no, nothing felt right. So this is just a new top that I got on sale at Cato probably a month ago. I picked myself up um, probably about six or seven new tops and they were a gift to myself for the summer. So this is it. There's my top. And I just went with capris because I thought I got to get rolling. I can't mess with this any further. important part of modern life. I need to get my cell phone charger because I know my phone will die at some point today. Of course, Murphy's Law for Jay Morrell. I bust around looking through several vehicles for the cell phone charger. And you know where it is? It's in my purse the whole time. Yeehaw! It's always a yeehaw good time when I try to get out the door. So, trying to not make eye contact with the kids that are up. I explained to them yesterday that mama was going out and uh, yeah so I'm driving my little my husband's little rattle trap compute com, hmm, my I'm driving my husband's little rattle trap commuter neon it's really good at gas $20 can fill up the whole thing and uh, you'll hear it. it's just it's a rattle trap but it'll get me to my friend's house <laughs> pushed for time here. I have to do a quick drive through run so I have something to cram in my mouth so I do not pass out on my friend and I's journey to the convention. I know we're going to eat out other good places today but I gotta have something besides coffee and I had to get out of the house because I was being spotted by kids. And of course like any true multitasking mom I am using this opportunity in line at the drive through to attempt to put my face on. I uh as I mentioned, I had to scoot out of the house. I could not hang out to get my makeup on. So I'm going to try to do that in line here for my biscuit. I didn't get all my makeup done, but you know, it's always a juggle. How can I get all this stuff on my face? But I think I got about a third of it on and I'm still eating. I'm at a red light. So, oh, and I got to go. So we'll see how far I can get it on on the little trip over to her house. I say little trip, it's well over an hour to get to her house now that I've moved. If you hear that spaceship sound, that is the sound of this little neon that I'm driving. It's really getting to the point that 
I'm gonna need a little what I call mommy mobile to get around and do things. Oh, I'm going a little too fast here. I'm in a college area and it's just a, a 25 mile zone, so I best behave. Um, it's getting to the point that now that we have some kids that are getting older and we have different activities going on and you know we go a lot of places as a family in our big 15, 16 passenger van, however big it is. But then there's times that I'm running out or doing things or I don't know, whatever. I need a nice little mommy mobile car for myself. Now, our vehicles, you know, we don't have car payments. Our vehicles are much older. I think all of our vehicles, we joke, they're 90, they're 98s. They're the year that Travis and I got married. So they were new to us, would have been new to us back then. Um, and Travis, as you know, he is a car guy, so he can fix and work on anything. But I'm just getting to the point that, yeah, I would like to get a new to me, it probably will be a 10 year old vehicle, like a 2007. Um, by the time that I get it, but I'm starting to look around at other little vehicles so that if I go on a day trip with a friend and with my business, you know, I go sometimes to like a three-day conference. I don't go um, often, but I know I have one three-day event this summer and I have to rent a car for it. So it would just be nice to have a 10-year-old vehicle that I could take you know, to drive eight hours or so without having to take our van. Travis and I've also talked about getting a newer van, but honestly, you know, we're hard on vehicles and I just, I don't want to put $10,000 into a newer to us van. It would still be used just for us to use it really hard. I mean, we do, we eat in our van, you know, we have to drive pretty much an hour to get anywhere. Um, we travel in our van, we're going on uh, several, week-long trips this summer and with a bunch of kids and especially a lot of littles it's just not worth it to me to have to worry about keeping the van perfect um, you know our van we paid cash for several years ago Travis replaced the engine and to replace the transmission I think we only got it for like I don't know $800 and it's a, a 98 16 passenger and so he put in a complete new engine complete new transmission and just yesterday you know Naomi went through she got all the toys out because toys will collect in there we got all the trash out we got um, we swept it out and we went over the dash and everything with baby wipes and it's it's as clean as it's gonna get um, so anyway, family-wise, I think the van we have is perfect, and I just want to use it until Travis cannot possibly put it back together any further. But again, for my little mom buzzing around that, you know, it might only be once a week or sometimes twice a week and then sometimes for an event like this, I just want something that doesn't rattle and that I could probably get for around $5,000 cash and that... Um, you know feels brand new to me so we'll see I'm sure I'll share more about that as I car shop and look for something this is another little funny factoid I don't believe I mentioned this earlier I actually I woke up late and it has thrown our timing and everything off haha ha. so Joanne and I for the actual convention we're only gonna get like half a day um, and I told her I sent her a text message and I said Joe I am so sorry that I feel like it's always a hassle with me and that um, this is just how it goes and I know though that her and I are going to have an amazing day I would pay and line up my husband to watch the kids all day and all of that just to spend you know a long day with her in, a, in the car so we can do nothing else but chat and that's how it is um, whenever you are homeschooling your kids and or just a, being a stay-at-home mom it's so refreshing and so good to get together with another good mom friend who basically lives your life and it's like in the Bible it talks about iron sharpening iron you know I know that Joe and I are just gonna have an iron sharpening iron day all day we are gonna encourage each other and laugh and tell stories it's gonna be fantastic and I'm late and we're missing half the event but who cares we're together okay so real complicated can a homeschool mom pay for parking Let's see, will it take money? Yay, it did it, I think. Give me a little pass now. 
printing a receipt. I just realized I gave him a $3 donation because it says no refund. So enjoy that city of Richmond. We are all about the food on our get together. I think I'm gonna get a ham wrap and then maybe I will get a fruit cup. wanted to give you guys a peek because several of you have asked me about character concepts and you know I love character concept products so I'm just going to show you some of their books here real quick so there's their website and then here are they got history books this is we have this book crossroads of character I need this book character trails proverbs people proverbs for preschoolers kids of character just real solid biblical character training curriculum and they have packages here. Marilyn, she just gave me this book, Home Educating with Confidence. I haven't read this yet, but she had 14 children and they did it successfully. So I take encouragement from her. So I always really love these missionary stories. We've read this Amy Carmichael book. Uh, we've read several of these. Let me see if I see any other ones offhand. But you see, it's just a wonderful collection of missionary stories and I've always wanted to buy this conference special that has all of them and obviously I'm I'm not doing that today either but I do love I just love to see these books a wonderful collection I love this one William Wilberforce we have a few books on him already George Washington Carver I'm sure that would be excellent I'm just gonna give you guys a quick peek at what it looks like inside a homeschool exhibit hall at one of these large conventions. Go hold my camera up and hopefully you can get a peek here. So, lots and lots. It's just, it's massive. It's like a warehouse all for homeschooling. It makes me just want all the things, all the things. So my friend and I are hyperventilating at the used curriculum sale. Let me give you a peek at this. Ooh. Lots of goodies. And what they'll have here is they'll have a Friday price listed and then they have a Saturday price listed. So if you buy the items on Friday, it's a little more expensive and it's a better deal on Saturday, but on Saturday it might not be here. Science manipulatives. Ooh, we always love magic school bus books. Let's see if this is any we don't have. I think we have all of these. But it looks like three magic school bus books. These events are always a homeschool mom's dream. There's lots of homeschool moms here with their carts or their strollers filled to the top, just loading up on all this fantastic use homeschool curriculum and I'm heading for the chapter books. I'll try not to hyperventilate over there. So what I'm doing is I found this set of Bob books and it looks like it's a good level for Gabriel and Liam. They're five and just turned seven. It's Bob books collection too with 16 books. They're asking $9.95 but I'm comparing my price online because um, you know if it's cheaper online I'll just order it if I really wanted it. So Looking at Amazon here just to see how much these sets are. That helps me determine if it's really, if it's a, a want or a need, or if it's just, or if I just have used book curriculum sale fever. See online, I'm finding it for $12.50, um, and here it's $9.95. So that was a good deal on the Bob books. It saves about $3. This collection is brand new. It even has the stickers with it. This is the big bug book. It's only a dollar, and I think that the kids would really enjoy this. Got some beetles, different pictures. Now we have fiction and lots of chapter books, and this is where I start to hyperventilate, but I only have a paper bag and nothing to really haul a bunch of books around, so that'll keep my head straight. Now this book looks hilarious. It has the dog heads on all the characters. I definitely have to get this one. It's a whole dollar. So many good ones. 
The good thing is, too, we already have a huge collection at home, so that helps me not hyperventilate too much. Many good deals, though. And there's lots of puzzles and games here, too. It's fun. 50 veteran homeschoolers share things we wish we'd known for only $2. So I think I'm going to get this. Hopefully I read it. It looks fun. Well, friends, I am back in my vehicle, Joanne and I worked that convention hard then we met two other friends of ours for a lovely dinner chatted for oh i don't know about four hours or so then joanne and i headed back home it's almost midnight now so and i still have another hour to drive before i get home so you know priorities i've gone through dairy queen and gotten a Reese cup lizard so i can eat it and hopefully stay awake for the ride home but i'll show you when i get home all the goodies that i got how late a homeschool mom day out can end. It is now tomorrow, 12.45 now, the following day. And I just wanted to wrap this up and show you everything that I snagged at that wonderful used curriculum. Uh, don't even have a word right now. Curriculum fair, used for curriculum sale, something tired, ready for bed. <laughs> so there were a stack of things I got for free and then a stack of things that I that I purchased um, and I ended up filling, I ended up leaving with a full bag. It was just ridiculous. Even though I don't need anything, I wasn't gonna get anything. So here's what I got. <laughs> okay, so these items here are what I purchased. So this book, I showed it to you there. It just looks so funny with these dogs on these tractors. I mean, someone had a fun time with Photoshop. So I got that book, got it for a dollar. I got the big bug book. I got this for a dollar. I got, this is just, it's just a magnet, magnetic set. It's got number shapes and letters. It was $3. And we don't have anything like this right now for our refrigerator. I just thought the younger kids would really appreciate it. Also, Jaden and Zion and Naomi, when they were younger, we had the same leapfrog little set and I can't get it to work now. I have to, let's see, maybe if I pull it out. So. Every letter makes a sound. H says. So anyway, they love this. And it was only $4. And it includes all the magnets. And our old, old one that we have, we just used it till it broke. So I felt nostalgic. I thought the new little kids would appreciate that. Um, this book was a joke. I was going to read it to uh, my friend Joe on the way home. It's 50 veteran homeschoolers shared things we wish we'd known. And it's from several homeschool author names that I know. And I just thought it would be fun to read. Um, this I got as something for Zion. Let's see here if I can get this tape off. This is um, Science Experiments You Can Eat. So I just thought Zion, my science boy, would appreciate that. Um, also, again, for the little kids, I got this collection, too, of Bob books. It's all books that they can currently read and just continue to build their reading confidence. So, and let's see doorknob hanger. Huh, I wonder how that works. Okay, so I'd like to go ahead and get the, all the Bob book, book sets, and I thought this would be one they would enjoy. Now, so for all of this here, it ended up coming to be about $24. This Bob book collection was almost $10 of that. So then over here, these items were totally free. They had free tables, and so this is a Bible Pictures in Color um, by oh, my tired tired mind Bible pictures two color it's a rod and staff product and for free you know there were a few pages that were colored but overall see someone else's coloring book but I thought my kids would enjoy it especially because it's free they'll probably do it tomorrow this was a free book on sharks always a popular topic around here um, 1001 Things Everyone Should Know About Science. Um, this book is popular. It's an old school book, but there's a lot of ideas in here for lap books and other projects. And I've heard of this book. I've seen it over the years. We love lap booking. I have not done any lap books with the kids probably in the last two to three years. 
and I don't know if we'll get back to it but I would love to get back to lap booking so these are projects that you can make out of folders to organ organize thoughts and keep notes and just basically make creative projects based on what you're studying it takes a lot of time and hands-on work for the parent but the kids end up making some fantastic super super fun projects so again for free i thought this would be nice to have oh and we have american soviet relations again another freebie i didn't know if one of my older boys would be interested in that and then um, in short, <laughs> the Greek alphabet, a premiere for teaching how to read, write, and pronounce ancient and biblical Greek. So again, one of the older boys might really be interested in this or not. We shall see, but again, it was free. So that was my little haul from, um, from the used curriculum sale in which I needed nothing, but of course, I'm a homeschool mom. If I go into a used curriculum sale, I'm going to leave with stuff. So at least I didn't end up purchasing any curriculum in particular. Um, I'm not quite ready to do that because we have several things that we're using up right now, but I'll certainly share our homeschool choices when I wrap my brain around the next homeschool choices that we're going to make. And I guess that's it. So thank you so much for following my homeschool mom day out. I will see you next time, friends, with another brand new video. I'm going to bed now. Good night or good morning.